Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to talk about cascading style sheets in Adobe Flex. Now, Adobe has done great things in Flex 3 with cascading style sheets, and I'm going to start by showing you a very simple example. Here is the uh, project folder I'm working with, is css.mxml, right here. And let's go ahead to the components and drag out a label to our canvas. So let's find the label component and drag it out. There we go. And I'm going to come over here to the Flex Properties, and I'm going to start assigning properties. Now, it's kind of small, and it says Label, so let me add in my label. And let's increase its size. Cool. Woohoo, that's pretty big. And let's go ahead and change it to Arial. Good. And let's change the color to a dark blue. And I'm going to bold it. And I'm going to italicize it. Okay, so that's good for now. Now let's go to the source code to see what we've done. In the source code, all the elements that we've been talking about are listed in the MXML. I'm going to actually space this out so you can actually see that. There's my font size, my font family, my color, my font weight, my font style. Now I want to take a look at uh, font size just real quick here. It's 36. And uh, this lo may look similar to you to cascading style sheets in uh, regular HTML. So I'm going to type in font uh, dash or hyphen size. So I type in font hyphen size. And so this is typically what you see as a cascading style element in uh, HTML, what Adobe has done in the MXML version is taken out the hyphen and put in a capital. And they call that camo caps or camo case. Uh, what we're going to do now is a nice little trick. What's new to Adobe Flex and 3, what's new to Adobe Flex 3, let's go to the design view again, is I can actually now just convert all this into a cascading style sheet. Keep it in our cascading style sheet as opposed to being kept in the MXML. So right here in the Flex Properties panel, there's this new button in Adobe Flex 3 called Convert to CSS. Let's click that. And uh, hey, let's uh, change that. And what it's going to say, hey, i got to define a new style sheet. So hit New. And that's going to come from the CSS uh, project folder. That's good. I agree with that. And from the source folder. That's where that style sheet is going to be kept. I'm going to give it a name. We'll just call it My CSS. And hit Finish. Hit OK. And so now what I'm seeing here is something totally new. Is that my actually my text, the way it's going to look in the style sheet. And I could actually come over here now and actually modify it, file it. This is like a style manager. I can actually modify the style right here. And that's actually being modified in my uh, styles right here in my SRC folder. So let me go ahead and uh, take a look at that style sheet. I'm going to bring that up. Now we can actually open this style sheet in a uh, text editor if we'd like. So hit a text editor. And lo and behold, look at that. It's a label component. It is in the color, the font family, the font size, remember that, 36. The font style, italic, the font bold. Now am I keeping it in both places? No. Go back to the original Flex project. Let's go to My Label. And what we see is all of the uh, style elements have been pulled out and put into the uh, style sheet. And so how does Adobe Flex get a style sheet, an external style sheet into Flex? Well, it uses the style tag. So you can see right here there's an MX style tag. The source is mycss.css, and there it is right there. So wow, uh, I've been using style sheets all along and didn't know it. And Adobe now converts everything from my uh, MXML into a cascading style sheet. All right, let's move on from here. Okay, now I'm going to show you one of the coolest things you can do with this Adobe Flex Style Manager. Let's go to Source Code, and we're in our MXML. Let's click on our cascading style sheet. And I can actually now, in Adobe Flex 3, bring that cascading style sheet into the design view. And now I have a style manager right here in Adobe Flex. Let's add another uh, style. So I'm going to click on this new style. And we have a whole list of components that we can style. So let's put in a panel. Click 
click on that and hit OK. And there's my panel component. Let's style that a little bit. I'm going to go along here and change the to Roman times and make that bold and increase the size. So that's my label. Let's come up here a little bit and give it rounded bottom corners. So you're square right now. Let's round those corners at the bottom. So now they're rounded. Let's go ahead and give us a different uh, uh, border color. So we'll bring that kind of a pinkish color. And uh, you can just continue with all these different flex properties and change. Let's change the title here to a, let's make it a red. And you can change all these flex properties. And now when I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and save that into my cascading style sheet. So let's save that. And now let's take a look at our cascading style sheet. Back to source view. And look, I've just added the panel component and cascading styles with not knowing a bit of cascading style language. But from this, you can actually learn. Now let's see how this works in our application. Go back to our application. And let's go to design view. And let's drag a panel component onto the stage. And immediately you see that panel component has now taken up the design view characteristics of my cascading style sheet. Isn't that super cool? Yes, it is. And uh, in my tutorial on Over the Rhine, I actually go through on how to add an external style sheet. Let's just briefly go over that now. Okay, now we're going to show you how to put a cascading style sheet on this application. So let's go to the following uh, address and let's get a cascading style sheet to put onto this application. And you can go to flexray.org, F L E K S R A Y.org, and we're going to find a nice uh, style sheet there. So open up that URL and uh, in Flexray, there's another thing that are giving away, and we're going to go to Flex Skins. Just click on that. And let's go down and choose Blue Plasma. Now, I can download it from here, or I can actually go and view the uh, Blue Plasma. And the one thing I like to do is when I come to an application like this is to right-click on it and go View Source. And if it comes up as a View Source, I can typically download that application directly. And it's come up, and immediately see there's a blue underscore plastic dot CSS, that's the style sheet, and there's a blue plastic dot SWF. That's actually the flash file that carries the button styles inside it. We're going to download this, so we're going to download source. And I've actually already downloaded the source, so we don't have to do it here. I've actually put it in a folder called FlexRay. I'm going to bring that up. I've unzipped it, and there's the skin. And I don't even have to open this up in Adobe Flex. I can just come along here and grab the two files I need, Blue Plastic and Blue Plastic CSS. So copy those two files. And let's get out of this and go back to Adobe Flex. And go ahead and paste those two files right into your Flex SRC folder. Let's paste those. Now we see those two files are there. And now what we want to do is bring this into Adobe Flex, into our application. Let's go to Source. And we're going to uh, type in a new MX tag, MX style. And there's my code heading. And I'm going to close that tag. Now, you can do it this way. You can have a style slash closing tag style. We can actually close inside the uh, uh, single tag itself by putting a forward slash. And, get, and you get rid of that second tag. And now we're going to put our source in there. So we'll just get some code hitting here by hitting a space bar and just type in source. And what is our source? Well, it's blue underscore plastic dot CSS. So blue underscore plastic dot CSS. And that's our cascading style sheet. Let's run this and see what happens. And you can see we get an error and uh, we're not going to proceed. We're going to cancel, but I can tell you where that error is. It's in my cascading style sheet. Let's double click on that and bring up the cascading style sheet. We actually have two problems. First of all, we have a font here. We have a font here that doesn't exist on my machine. And so this at symbol here allows us to import fonts. So if you had a font like a Chinese font or whatever you need it into your Flex application, you can import it. But just realize that when you import fonts, they actually add size to your uh, application. And there's ways to bring that size down by restricting what's being brought in. These are actually style names and they're not being used in the program but we can ignore those since uh, we are not using them. 
I'm going to click on that and go to that error, and you can see it's right here in the panel. And I'm just going to delete that. Now, I don't know why I'm deleting it. It's just called emotional programming. And so let's delete it. Let's save and see if those errors go away. And they did indeed. So let's go back to our application and run it. Wow. And you can see the style is now applied. You have this very nice blue looking uh, plastic, I would guess you would say. But now we have a whole new style just applied to our application without much work.